What's going on guys? So um, I recorded the beginning of this video and my camera just started wigging out. <laughs> I said it was buffering some overflow stuff. I don't know what was going on there. But anyway, I got this package today from uh, Case. I have my knife that was finally um, sent back. I'm excited to see it. And I started cutting it to the side. It's one of those pad envelopes, so I'm making a mess here. So then I ended up slicing one of the ends here, which I <laughs> don't know which one. Doesn't matter, we'll do it again. And I mentioned that I'm EDCing this American Made Shrade, which rhymes. So this is a, turned into a big mess. Literally a mess here, with this pad envelope. All right, let's take this out. Shrade box, or not shrade, case box. We have a letter here, a note, and that's all. Okay, so I'll do vacuum that up later. Made a huge mess. So yeah, stay tuned, I will do a video on this Shrade. I have a lot of thoughts on it. All right, so what's this? This says, Case, please remember to clean all your knife frequently. We appreciate your business. Case.com, whatever, a phone number, an email, in case you can get a hold of them. All right, so we have 64664 Red Anodized Aluminum uh, Kinzua S35VN Tanto. I don't know if this is the original box. It looks like the original box, and it looks like the original knife, because there's a, I believe there's a little, like, scuff or mark on there. Hmm. Interesting. All right, here we go. <laughs> that was a fail. It just slipped right off. Okay. Ooh, there is no blade play. Okay, let's try that again. Interesting action. Oh, yeah. That locks up like a bank vault. There's way later lockup now. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know what they did. There's no note, you know, kind of explaining. I don't believe I have any emails or anything that I missed explaining what happened. I think the same night because I have some wear on that pocket clip. So they fixed it. They didn't replace it, which is fine. I just wanted it working. That's all I was ever looking for is to get it fixed. Thick old blade here. All right. So, yeah, I mean, that's it. They... They fixed the, the blade play. There is no blade play anymore. Again, a little confused as to what they could have done besides bend this bar in, the lock bar, <laughs> as part of the frame lock. Like, I really don't know what they would have done. I mean, yeah, if, I guess if you take the knife apart, you take your frame lock bar and you bend it over a little bit more so there's more pressure on it, you know, when the blade opens to want to go, you know, to the lock position, I suppose. I don't, I don't really know. I'm making a complete guess here. So, yeah, interesting. All right, well, that's all I wanted. I wanted to not have any wiggle or blade play. It was super annoying, and now it does not. So the pocket clip is still equally as uncomfortable as when I sent it in, <laughs> but I knew that wouldn't change. Interesting. All right, so you'll see a future video after I actually get some use on this guy. I will do a, uh, a review on it eventually, but now it is uh, all fixed up. So thank you, Case, for your lifetime warranty. Um, as you saw with that little sticker on the front here. Case is also Zippo and Ronson as well. So, if you didn't know, now you do. I actually believe, I believe Zippo bought Case instead of like Case buying Zippo. I forget, it's been a while. But I know they also obtained Ronson like years ago. I may or may not have made a video on that. But anyway, all three, same people, or at least the same owner. So there you go. Interesting. And also, they definitely oiled it because there's some oil seeping out there. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. They, they fixed it up for me. All right, so no more blade play. Very happy about it. All right, so that will go into the EDC. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.